Hey, hey folks, and welcome to another installment of Dave's Impressions. This time around, Viking Battle for Asgard. These impressions were taken from playing the game for around 1 hour and 30 minutes. Enjoy! Viking Battle for Asgard does not put its best foot forward. There is a 6 minute intro before you start playing, and once you do, you are just kind of thrown into the game world. There's no real tutorial, and initially talking to the townsfolk and wandering the map will make you think that you're playing a bad God of War ripoff. I was so confused about what the game wanted from me, I went to a walkthrough almost immediately. I'm actually glad I did, because the walkthrough pointing me in the right direction in regards to game progression uncovered something compelling at the heart of this game that seems second rate if you look at all of its individual components. The core idea, at least on your beginning island, is to sneak into camps that are overrun by enemies. You can fight your way to victory, but often the amount of foes within the camp will make this tedious and not very fun. The right way to do things is to sneak around until you find where the prisoners are being kept. Once you free them, they'll run into the camp and start attacking foes. In this throng of fighters, it's very easy to wail on enemies with your vastly superior combat skills and engage in finishing move after finishing move. With an army alongside you, it takes very little to free the camp. Afterwards, you can look around for gold, which is used to buy more upgrades, and there are likely quests to complete as well. These quests can lead to mini boss fights, and you have to fight a large bruiser of an enemy on the main path in order to receive the horn that will allow you to summon your army for the first big base battle. The other two up to this point were more on a skirmish level. The army fights are very satisfying, mostly because the enemy is distracted by all your men, and you can gleefully spam your attack button before the X appears overhead, leading to the aforementioned finishing move. This loop of fighting small groups of foes and liberating larger bases in order to use your army to attack a stronghold is a satisfying one. Not enough to keep me playing, but I came away from the game with a more positive impression than I had when I started playing it, having no idea what the game was asking of me. Thanks for watching.